I hope that I've done something really great in bringing this topic to light and bringing it to the screen. It's a thought that I think occupies everyone. I'd be sceptical that the brain and the mind was that powerful. Picture like a ton of bricks on me. <laughs> but what I notice helped more than anything is simply talking about it. How was I supposed to talk about something I didn't understand? It was like tipping out the pieces of a puzzle, but finding some were foreign. There were ones that would never fit, and ones that almost did. We still don't have a clear picture of mental illness and the health system surrounding it. As it stands, one in two people are affected by mental illness, and suicide is the largest killer of individuals between 15 and 44. And these statistics, for whatever statistic as a human being, through education, I think that's been the biggest thing for me. The more you know, the more you can understand and the better choices you can make. When you Google treatments for mental illness, effective treatments are stated to be medication and therapy. These medical pieces are a small component of a bigger picture. A bigger picture that is unexplored, where holistic treatments and one's self-discovery should be encouraged. It's about being open and being honest and saying, you know, this is the problem. What can we do about it? What are other people in other places doing about it? And just, you know, yeah, fixing it. But you do have to learn it. That's the problem. I mean, any illness that we have, we have to play a role in getting ourselves better. If you're in a bad, bad state, that you can come there, now, yeah? get it out of your system, your mental, mental strain is not as bad. knows the way. No one knows the ultimate direction. If we're understanding and learning along the way, that's more than what we can hope for in the world. It takes a stronger person to ask for help and put their hand up if they are struggling as opposed to suffering in silence. Get to the point where you understand what your body's doing. Because you understand what's happening, it loses its power to frighten you. Because I stepped up and said, guys, I am struggling, I need help. You know, so they offered that help. So that makes a huge difference, you know. And it's okay to cry, it's okay to break down, and it's okay to, to ask for help. Your mind's doing these sort of things in the background, which is, which is affecting you. But it's not until you bring it forward to the conscious mind that it actually starts resolving itself. And once you start talking about it, once you start realising there is an issue, then you can slowly start to gain control. It's not that big of a deal. If she's been able to overcome it and achieve all of these things, then maybe I can too. We may not have all the pieces, but someone else's journey may be the key to our recovery. We just need to find where they fit. Because George Lucas once said, you have to find something that you love enough to be able to take risks, jump over the hurdles and break through the brick walls that are always going to be placed in front of you. If you don't have that kind of feeling for what it is you are doing, you will stop at the first giant hurdle. Who would have thought that your freedom was your prison? Yes, it's hard to go through but it's a test of character and it's an opportunity for you to show just how strong you really are. And I can promise anyone out there who's suffering right now that it is worth it and you'll come out so much better.